Good morning, Westminster Woods on Julington Creek. Chaplain Leslie here with you this morning with an invitation to join me for the next few minutes for a time of prayer and remembrance. On the morning of September 11, 2001, four planes were hijacked and carried out suicide attacks against targets in our country. Two planes flew into the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center in New York City. The first was at 8.46 a.m., the second at 9.03 a.m. A third plane hit the Pentagon just outside Washington, D.C. at 9.37 a.m., and the fourth plane crashed into a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania at 10.03 a.m. In each of these settings, this country and its people exhibited incalculable bravery and courage. Today, our United States commemorates the nearly 3,000 lives that were lost on that day. 9-11 has been designated as Patriot Day and a National Day of Service and Remembrance. In these nearly two decades, people have gone out and marked this day as a day of volunteering to remember in a positive way that this country will never allow terrorism to destroy us. We always rise above evil. It is also a day when we remember the lives lost, as well as the lives forever changed by the events that transpired. Though many things have indeed forever changed because of that day, there are things that have not changed. We as a country remain brave and courageous in the face of adversity. I think we are stronger as a nation. Every day I see the amazing love and compassion that people exhibit toward one another. And as a person of faith, I am encouraged when I see the goodness in the heart of my fellow citizens. <clears throat> in the Vesper service this past Sunday, we talked about the importance of community, the strength of the body of Christ when we come together to help one another. That sense of community is apparent today as we pause to remember. I encourage each of us to reflect upon the sacrifice of the, those 3,000 souls as well as all the first responders whose lives have never been the same. I ask that you now take a moment, bow your heads with me in prayer, after which we will lift up a time of quiet reflection and silence. Let us pray. O oh Lord of grace and mercy, we come as community here at Westminster Woods to remember that on this day, 19 years ago, nearly 3,000 precious souls lost their lives in the multiple acts of terrorism committed on 9-11-2001, countless acts of bravery and sacrifice were also exhibited. Lord, as lives were taken, we were changed. May the memory of each of those who perished never be forgotten. May we continue to speak their names. May we be proud of them, and may we remain proud to be citizens of this United States of America. Let us continue to be in a spirit of prayer and in moments of silence. Amen. Thank you again for joining me in this very important time this morning as we pause to reflect and to remember the events of this day. I pray an additional blessing upon you, and uh, we'll see you around campus. In the meantime, peace. <laughs>